morning folks, Vince here from Twisted Koi. I'm going to have to make some uh, adjustments to the IBC tank filter. I have to take the, uh, the mesh net out and put some sponge in because the mesh net is getting too clogged up too quickly. And I also want to put a couple of overflows in the top tier so that if it, it does build up it will then just flow straight back into the tank. also give me a, a better mechanical filtration and then I want to try and get some kind of steps on this side so I can get up and down to it okay so we'll be back when I've done a little bit more now well, there's the third tier sat in place last of the alpha grog and my uh, ceramic media on top there got the spray bar out at the moment there's one overflow done I'm gonna put one in the same place over on this side and then once I get it put back together I'm gonna put a little plate along here to stop the, the, the spray trickling out or splashing out should I say fish aren't too bad at the moment also while I've got the electrics box off I've got a light I want to uh, wire up that will be underneath that ledge there and I also want to get uh, an air pump running in there Right, there we go, both overflows are in. I set one slightly, then I hide the other, just in case one doesn't cope. So if it carries on raising, then the second should, the second should do it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go straight down, I'm going to punch a hole straight in the deck in, and then I'll go with literally just a straight piece pipe, just above where the air. Uh, bottom of the sk uh, shower sits so that they can't bang themselves or knock themselves on it and then I'll do the same on on this side here I did think about uh, just bringing it down and punching it back in to the uh, the shower trays but I don't want to go fill in uh, something that I've paid 160 quid <laughs> full of holes so uh, yeah I'm lucky that I've got the extra tier anyway, so make use of it. Like I say, all I'm going to be putting in here is a, is a sponge, and we'll see how that goes. And we've got some extra bio in there too. All right, there we go. Fourth tier back on. I've got a little air pump running in the corner. It's not very good, so I will swap it out for the one at the front that's got two two outlets on it. Right. Can you hold that for a second please, my darling? Got a wicked little flow in there. And like I said, I've now got two overflows. So I won't end up pumping all my water out if the sponge fills up too much. I mean it will become easier to get up here because I'm gonna I'm gonna build in some steps on the side down there. So on a shaky note. I'm not going to drop the phone. <coughs> Here we go. The fish are, fish are happy and now the pumps are going again. Like I say, it went cloudy because uh, I was using oh, one of these underneath the spray bar. But 
it was just too fine and I went to walk the dog at half past 11 and I could hear water going where it shouldn't be going and I was like, oh fuck. So yeah, so fumbling around up there around in the dark was not fun, trust me. But I've sorted it now, we've got overflows. It doesn't look the prettiest job. I'll have to come out with the old rattle can and paint the pipes black, methinks. But we'll do that once I empty the tank. So there you go. There's, there's the next job done on the IBC tank. Over Vince, this is Twisted Koi. We'll catch you on the next one. Evening, guys. I thought I was done with the, uh, the IBC tank. But you know what it's like in this hobby. You're never done. There's always something to do. Yeah, had a visit. Had to visit the old man, and uh, well, he's chucked this at me. Got to clean it first, though, little shit. But it's got a bigger UV on it, and it will act as the perfect mechanical filter for the shower. That way I can take the sponge out of the shower and not have to rely and worry about it overflowing and I losing all my water. And to top it all off, I'm going to make Susan really, really happy because my snake's going out the front garden. She's been trying for years to get this out of the front garden. So what I'm going to do is going to serve two purposes. Clean the dirt off. Is we get kites and stuff flying above our house. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to stop my lid from bowing. And hopefully, I'll also scare the cats and the birds away from coming to my tent. <laughs> so... But this isn't going to be done tonight. But what I'll be doing is I'll be taking the small UV off of the tank that's in there at the moment. I will just run straight from the pump into here, out of here, straight into the shower, which means I can get some more ceramic media in the top tier, which they're really going to give me four tiers full of a biological media. Water's starting to clear up a bit now. Do you think once I finally get this thing cleaned up and I get it on, fitted on in the next day or so? Knowing me, I'll try attempting it tomorrow, but we'll see. Doing Barry's pond yesterday took it out of me again. Yeah. The fish in the growing on tank seem happy enough. So, until I get this new addition on, we will catch you on the next one.